Hey YouTube, welcome to Rhonda's Glam Corner. Today, we are going to do a yellow cut crease. So, if you would like to know how it was done, I would like you to sit back, relax, and keep watching. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you took some time out of your busy day to come hang out with me today. So I know that I have been missing. It has been about a month since I've recorded and that is because I was sick. I'm still not 100%, but I am feeling a lot better. So I said, let me try to record today and see how I feel. Um, it did take me a little longer than normal. I don't know if it was because I haven't done makeup in a while or what, but this is the eye that I came out with. Came up with. I wanted to do a yellow. You know, springtime is coming. I wanted to do something a little bit bright, even though it isn't as bright as I wanted it to be, but I still think that is cute. So I'm going to start off with my transition color, and it's from my Revolution Color Book 02. And this is the color right here that I use. So let's get started. So the next color that I use right under that one is this one here. And what I did is I packed the color in and then I blended it out. And I did drag the color way out here because I wanted to do the wing. And I did have questions about brushes. So the first brush that I use, let me get my glasses real quick. The first brush is, it says Elf Eye Contour Brush. The second brush is the Morphe M321 brush. I need my eyebrows done. I need my nails done. I do need to do some maintenance. But I'm afraid. I'm really afraid because I did end up with COVID. I was a lot sicker than I let everyone know on. I was a lot sicker than I let on because I didn't want people to worry. But y'all be careful out there concerning COVID. And... That's all I'm going to say about that. So now, here comes the fun part. I am going to go ahead and clean out my eye with my concealer. And basically we're good to go so what I am going to do is go off camera and wait for that to dry down and I will be back the next thing that I did is that I went in with a yellow and this is the revolution 03 palette and I went in with this this yellow it does you can't really tell but this yellow is is much darker than this yellow and I just packed that yellow on my eyelid
what I did next is I went in with that yellow color that's underneath this one here and I just put it right on top I used the same brush This color is showing up much brighter than the first color, but <clears throat> when I was doing this eye, when I first started with that lighter yellow, it was not showing up on me. So that's the reason why I put the darker one and then the lighter one on top of that. Well, I started with the darker one and then put the lighter one on top of that. So the next thing that I did was that uh, gold liner and <clears throat> what I use to achieve that is the NYX glitter gold it's a liquid eyeshadow <clears throat> this is what it looks like and I, I have I have uh I, I bought some paint brushes to use with makeup for my makeup because I couldn't find a brush that I I wanted that was thin enough so this is just a pack of paint brushes that i found at walmart let me see this is what it looks like and this is the brush that i'm using so i just dipped it in and this part was tricky you have to really take your time and paint and don't give up. We're going to use our Dragon Duo Black Liquid Eyeliner to create a wing. basically all I did with the eye I did use my my uh, Tarte man eater mascara and also my kiss lash couture lashes and which one is this it's called Lux tensions this is what the lash looks like so I am gonna go off camera and put my lash on and I'll be back when it's time for Primer, foundation, and concealer.
So I am using my Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation in the color Chestnut. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the color that I have is Butterscotch. I'll be back once this dries down a bit to blend it out with you guys. So I am using my Fenty Loose Setting Powder in Honey today. It is a honey kind of day. And I am going to go ahead and use my sponge. time to contour and I'm going to use my Morphe filter effect number 14 and I am going to use that same color to contour my nose just a little We're on to our last powder, which is the Fenty Loose Setting Powder in Nutmeg. And I'm going to put this in all the areas where I didn't put any other powder. Hey guys, so while I was waiting for my uh, setting spray to dry down, I did go ahead and do underneath my eyes. I took that same dark orange color. Was in this palette? Sorry about that. I, I took this same color here and just smoked out underneath my eyes. I didn't want to do too much under the eye because I did a lot on the top of the eye and. I use my Dragon Duo uh, 
eyeliner pencil and my waterline and I did use my man eater mascara under my eyes I mean for my lower lashes I'm sorry about that y'all I'm nervous this has been a month since I recorded but I did um use my man eater mascara underneath for my lower lashes but I use my benefits wand to put the mascara under my eyes and look how pretty it is so I am going to go ahead and do my inner corner and I'm going to use that same color book 03 palette and I am going to use the color because you know the matte colors are here the shimmers are here I'm going to use I'm going to use the same yellow that lighter yellow that I used at the top this this one here the shimmer for my inner corner and this is a Morphe what number is that 507 brush I'm just gonna put it right here Okay, so I am going to use my Juvia's Place, the Saharan uh, Blush Volume 2, and the color that I am going to use is Tau. So I am using my NYX um, lip pencil in Cappuccino. I do have a lipstick palette that I got from Burlington. It, it has five shades in it. This is what it looks like. It's five lip, five matte lip gloss colors for $5.99, which is a good deal. I think it's a good deal. And these colors are really good. This is the color that I'm using today. I can't see the name. I didn't see names on the package, but this is what it looks like. It's number 15. And I hope I like it. So, even though I think that my lips my lip looks cute where it is, I am going to go in and take this lighter color which is I'll, I'll I'll put what information I could find down below but this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna put that in the middle let that try up some and blend it on the sides with the first color that I had. It looks, feel like I lost it. I'm going to let that dry up a little bit before I blot because I don't want it to spread. And then I'm going to go on top of that. <laughs> I have one more color. <laughs> and this is from, this is a NYX Butter Gloss. And the color is Praline. I'm just going to put it on top of that because I want a shiny lip. about it for this makeup tutorial so I am gonna go off camera and fix my hair and come back and we can have a quick conversation before we leave each other hey you guys so I am back and this is the end result of this makeup tutorial and I just love the way my makeup came out today so 
I am on a mission. I'm trying to push myself outside of my comfort zone because although I wore makeup for years and years, I didn't really play with different colors and that kind of stuff. So I am, th this is the direction that I'm going in. So I think that my makeup came out cute. This is the first time that I've ever done a look like this and I really like it. Yeah, I, I really, I really like it. I think it's cute. I mean, it isn't an everyday look, but it's still cute. It's still cute, cute. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, so you guys tell me what you think down below. I think this is a cute date night look. <laughs> Y'all know I love doing date night looks, even though I'm not going on any. <laughs> anyway, y'all, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate all of you guys who have stuck with me through, uh, from when I started into now. Welcome to my new subscribers. Don't forget, <laughs> don't forget y'all, we're coming to that time again where I have to say, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as I always say, stay glamorous. Bye.